Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion reviews on the projects discussed in the channel. So with that said, we're looking at King Cash Z. Okay, so they've got a fair launch here. It's going to be coming up in just over two days and nine hours from the time we're doing the video. We can see this is going to be a fair launch. Okay, so fair launch is indicated right here. And with fair launches, we always get that soft cap. So we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, they do have a couple of badges here. So as far as the audit and KYC is concerned, KYC is concerned, we're going to talk about the, the audit first. So on the audit, they did have one issue. The contract owner can change swap settings. So just be aware of that. That was something that was highlighted in the audit findings. They do have their KYC. KYC. That's going to be through solid proof on this one. And uh, so we can see this is going to be upcoming. And the pre-sale, again, is going to start in just over two, hour, two days and nine hours from the time we're doing the video. Uh, here's their soft cap at 50 BNB. And we've got the socials here. It says combination of P2E and AI is what King Z Cash is all about. KYC and audited by Tech Audit. I would like to see them get a higher tier audit on this one. But that's just my own personal opinion. Passive BUSD rewards on this one. Hold equals earn, earn cash Z while playing AI integrated game, huge marketing campaign, fully competent and experienced team on board, low tax token five and five out for both buy and sell, CMC and CG fast track confirmed. Now understand that even in spite of fast tracking, it does not guarantee that the token will get listed on either platform. Now launch, they give you the launch date for this one, affiliate program, you know, my pink sale 3% and Cassie to the moon soon. All right, so we also get a video here, but you guys know we don't play videos as we go through projects on the channel. Uh, and then we can see the status on this one's going to be upcoming. So some additional information here, we see the soft cap, you know, reiterate again, you know, here at 50 beans, liquidity lockup time on this one's going to be 365 days after the pool ends, pretty standard stuff right there. And then we can also see the token metrics, you know, just a sliver of unlocked tokens but again under one percent on this one so nothing there that's really you know big you know concerning to me about that now moving over to the to their uh, documentation we see looking at the tokenomics you know so we're going to look at the distribution five percent going to community fund development 50 percent going to pre-sale 20 percent to in-game activities 15 percent to development fund 10 percent to partnerships and marketing all right, and then we also, and so they give us, you know, again, the same information, you know, we're going to see somewhat, you know, here, um, not in the same way that it was, you know, highlighted, you know, here in the graphic, you know, but again, they're giving the IDO um, distribution on this one. So uh, looking here, we see that uh, this is going to be token address, you know, so it says don't send BNB here. I don't know why, um, because... If this is the token address, this is going to be where you would actually send BNB. So let's go ahead and let's take a pause real quick. I just want to make sure this lines up with what we're seeing on Pink Sale in terms of the CA. All right, so if we take a look, you know, over here real quick at Pink Sale, you know, so you can see the pre-sale address. You never, you don't want to send BNB here, but the token address <clears throat> now for their IDO. So for the pre-sale, yeah, you don't want to send, you know, BNB here. So maybe that's what they're communicating, you know. But when it launches, I mean, this is their, this is their CA, okay. So just be aware of that, especially if you're somebody new to crypto, you know, during the pre-sale, yeah. Um, you're not supposed to send BNB or don't attempt it, you know, to send directly, you know, during their pre-sale, right? And don't send to the actual contract address during the pre-sale either. So I'm just going to state that for you, you know, here in this video. Now, when it launches on PancakeSwap, obviously, this is their CA. You can see just even by the last four, BC1B, if we go over to... Uh, you know, pink cell here, we can see BC1B that matches up. So, you know, when, when if, if let's say that you feel like you've gotten informed enough to decide to participate on the, uh, in this project, yes, this would be the CA that you would use when they launch on Pancake, but not during the pre sale. So, just want to clarify that, you know, because again, when you look here, they're giving the IDO token distribution, you know, and it's like, you know, why, why not send BNB to either address? So, that's the clarification there for that, okay? Um, so, and then you get some tokenomic information here. They give you the total supply. It's going to be a billion tokens, you know, so tax imp implementation, you know, again, we know based on what we saw and pink sale, it's going to be, I believe, five and five out, low tax, yep, five, five. All right, so here they're breaking that down for you. 2% is going to be going to rewards for distribution and BUSD, 2% for liquidity, and 1% for marketing. So, I mean, that's all that is. 
All right, um, so the other thing that we want to take a look at, we want to take a look at their roadmap. You know, so this is what they got going on in terms of the roadmap and development on this one. So in Q4, they start in Q4, right? So that's all, that's that's what they're stating here. Now Q1, that's where we are right now at the time we're doing the video. pre is going to be launched, offering early investors the opportunity to purchase tokens at a discounted rate, okay, as always with any time you participate in a pre-sale. But you guys know on this channel, we don't even encourage you to invest, but we still give the information anyway. At launch, listings on CMC and CoinGecko are planned to be initiated, as well as a huge post-launch uh, marketing campaign is going to be deployed by the core team members. And then Q2 of 2024. Now, here's the thing. What I don't care for on any project that does this. So we talk about you know, Q1 2023, but then you jump all the way to Q2 2024. Now, I don't know. If this is a typo or not, I don't know if they meant to go 2023 or not. However, if they are intentional about going from Q1 2023 all the way to Q2 2024, my issue is going to be you cannot leave people participating in a project with that kind of gap in terms of a roadmap. So I just think that's just not appropriate. So um, and then there's a lot of communication that's lost there. You know, so here's the thing. You know, if this is a typo, then the team needs to go ahead and address that, you know. Um, but I'll still go over, you know, these two either way. Q2, we can see uh, the token is going to be listed on major centralized and decentralized exchanges. We don't know which ones there's going to be. We don't even know the tier. Allowing investors to trade and sell their tokens. The team will also focus on community building and marketing efforts to raise awareness and drive adoption of the token. Q3, we're looking at the development team is going to develop to or continue to expand the ecosystem and usage cases for the token including partnerships with relevant players in the gaming crypto industries. So they do indicate the roadmap is subject to change. I tend to think that roadmaps are fluid documents, you know, so and teams, as long as they're staying connected to them, they should go ahead and adjust their roadmaps depending on, you know, whatever the case, whatever the situation is for them as things do change, you know, as, you know, through the life of any token. But the development team is dedicated to delivering a secure and scalable token infrastructure for the Kinsey Cash community. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on over to the main page. So we can see here links in their navigation bar, a couple of buttons, one for the dashboard and get cash Z, along with their socials here as well. Realm of Cryptomania awaits. So King Z Cash is the decentralized gaming ecosystem bringing games and players together through cash Z. We also have a button here for the Telegram and for the Pink Cell pre -sale page. Now, moving forward, we can see some things they want to highlight. DApp, you know, the AI, Marketplace, and AMM. Okay, and the feature of Web3 Gaming is powered by Kingsy Cash. Grow with an unmatched community. Receive support every step of the way. Le leverage powerful infrastructure and get Cash Z. So they say here the token is your way to discover and access the Kryptonia ecosystem. All right, so we get some partners and backers. All right, so, and basically we're here at the end of the page, you know, so just be aware of that. So that's going to do it, you know, in regards to uh, Cash Z. And uh, this is, you know, their pre sale, you know, on Pink Sale. Again, it's coming up rather soon, so you got some time to go ahead and do some additional, you know, um, information gathering on your own prior to the sale going live. So just keep that in mind. Again, as always, if there are any other content creators, and we can see that there are here for this one, particularly as represented here with this video on their pre sale page, make sure to engage with that content so you can see what the individual is saying. And maybe they're covering an aspect, you know, the token that I did not on the channel. Again, we try to give you guys brief exposure to a project, and then we put it in your hands to go ahead and do some additional information gathering to develop your own evaluation and assessment on the project so you can figure out you know, how you want to proceed with the token. So thanks so much for watching, and if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, these videos are time sensitive, you know, so if you are not a subscriber with those, without those notifications turned on, you're not going to know when new content is released to the channel. So if you want to be one of the first to know, make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications. Thanks so much for watching, and you all, as always, enjoy the day.